G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Lawn, I'm Brenton and in today's episode we've got something that I nearly didn't do. Uh, I talked about a while ago using glyphosate to treat uh, other grasses, specifically Kikuyu, out of cooch uh, as a blanket spray at a reduced rate. And at the time I thought it was a good idea and then I thought no, I probably shouldn't really be promoting the use of a chemical outside the manufacturer's recommendations because I thought that's not really a responsible thing to do. So I kind of thought, no, I won't do that. I'll just let that one slide. But then I, th I grabbed the bottle because see here at home I use uh, Roundup Max, which is the 540. I use the real strong stuff, but I always had a smaller bottle of what I thought was 360. Because uh, they come out, well at the time I thought they only came out in those two general two rates. Uh, and I had a smaller bottle of what I thought was 360. Anyway, I went and grabbed it and when I grabbed it and I looked at the label the active amount was only 100 grams per litre so it was a massively reduced rate and I'm like wow I didn't know that was even a thing so when I turned the turned the bottle over and had a look at the bag I learnt that at the lighter rate they were actually starting to talk about rates with control of all grasses except cooch at a lighter rate and I thought right I can do this video and I can use this product because they're happy to sell it with a less concentrated amount of glyphosate in their, in their product. So this video actually could have wings. And I'm denied for a while and I thought, rightio, no, I'm gonna do it, um, yeah. Now, a little challenge. It starts here and it runs down, sort of halfway to the next street pole, lamp post. Now in here, we've got a good mix. We've got predominantly cooch, with Kikuyu uh, around here. We've got still some, some summer grass there. And uh, further down here, we've got nice patches of Paspalum. So my way of thinking is I'm gonna treat this strip and because I don't actually, I really don't care if it lives or dies because this is all going to get re-turfed anyway but it's, it's just more of an experiment for you guys uh, to, to see some things that you can do uh, I still advise against doing it on Santa Ana Cooch I know that this is something that really only works for common cooch and the Australian born cooches so Wintergreen, Windsor Green and Greenleys Park uh, I'm going to stop it about here um, because then it does just go predominantly Kikuyu and at the moment I just want to leave some grass cover there for now. So this whole area in question is around about, uh, what, did we, what did I work out, about 32 square metres. So a reasonable sort of uh, experiment. Autumn's a good time to do this because the Kikuyu's a little bit more active still than the Cooch. So let's do that. Now, I was always, of the, as I said, I was always of the impression that, that came in 540, which is a strong sort of mix, 360, 360 grams, which is your regular mix. Uh, and I always, for some reason, had it in my head that this bottle of glyphosate was actually 360. And then I found it and had a look and it was 100. And I thought, wow, either I need glasses or I'm not reading it properly or whatever. So I looked again, yep, no, definitely 100 um, grams per litre of glyphosate. So that got me curious and I turned it around and then I looked at the rates. So I thought, yeah, okay, so the rates are a little bit stronger than normal because the product's less. So uh, they're talking, uh, what's, what's 360 normally, 10 mils a litre. So this is talking 20 mils a litre, but it's a lesser amount to start with. So anyway, so at 20 mils a litre, it was saying annual ryegrass, buffalo grass, kikuyu, nut grass, oxalis, or sow sob in South Australia, I think that's what they call it, uh, paspalum prairie grass, rose grass, sorrel, and St. John's wort. No mention of cooch control at all. So I kept reading. Blady grass, cooch grass, higher rate. So I thought, okay, so this product is somewhat watered down to the 360 so it's not as it's not as powerful so look i really do want to stress though this is probably one of those situations where it's more of a probably uh it's probably something that i'm not suggesting that you just go and do uh because look, the results can be disastrous uh, I'm doing it just because I know that area is going to get dug up anyway uh, and I'm just sort of just curious to see uh, how, how it handles it, how it goes. Uh, and A 
Okay, so day six on our glyphosate experiment, and you can start to see that we've got some yellowing of the kaikyu. Uh, the patch of uh, paspalum has started to look wilted and dry, uh, but the cooch is still looking looking good. The most visual patch of kaikyu has really yellowed, and as we look back up, uh, there's some summer grass there as well that has uh, started to go a little bit red as it curls its toes up. Uh, you can see here uh, the edges look a bit burnt, like they've almost been frost burnt, but there's been no frost, it's just the chemicals starting to take hold. Uh, and you look and see the cooch here, uh, still quite green. It, it obviously has taken a hit, it will do, uh, but it's certainly by no means about to curl its toes up. And you can see where I stopped spraying here. So there's like a line in the sand almost. So you can see here the paspalum is just looking really dry and wilted. So it's taken in a good amount of the, uh, the glyphosate as well. Okay, welcome to day 11 of our glyphosate challenge. And as you can see, since day six, we've had a huge change here. Uh, the really crunchy, dark looking patch is the paspalum. It's totally hung its hat up and surrendered. So as the kaikyu, the cooch has, uh, has the appearance of, frost, of frostbite, but it's still rolling. So let's get up close and personal and uh, let's check it out up close and see what exactly we're dealing with. Because I sort of tend to think what we've got now is um, as much death and kill as we're going to get. So has it been a success or has it been a failure? Let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, the cooch itself has, has dried out a little. It looks, uh, looks either drought affected or frost affected, uh, but nowhere near, like see the kaikuyu here is totally given up hope. Some of this cooch will uh, take a hit, but as a whole, you can see the level of green is still there. Uh, what do we got? Here's our summer grass. It's all but finished now. It's totally gone purple and hung its head up, but look right around it, Cooch is still powering on green. All right, let's find that uh, paspalum. Here's our first bit of paspalum. And uh, as you can see, there's not much, not much sign of life in it. I have no doubt that maybe in spring a little bit might come up because you're not gonna get it all. Uh, what do we got here? Here's some uh, khaki weed. This would have to be, if Bindi's, if Bindi's went to the gym, and, and that would be them, I reckon. I reckon these are Bindi's on steroids. Uh, you know when you stepped on a patch of those, because make Bindi's feel like a holiday. Uh, but anyway, back over here, here's our uh, Paspalum. Where's some uh, Kaikyu, just here. Right, oh, so here's the interesting bit. Here's a bit that we didn't quite get. So I'd say he's going to live to fight another day, but his mates over here haven't been so lucky. Again, when you filter back across the cooch, it's starting to green up. So, nearly call this a success, successful experiment. Uh, we'll wander down. Still got healthy looking paspalum, healthy looking kaikuyu. He's come across here where the spray was and uh, all your past palum's gone. Once again, cooch has suffered a little bit, but it's still green. Okay, here we are, day 16 of our little experiment with the glyphosate, um, and we'll leave it at day 16 for this episode. Now, we've had about as much kill as we're gonna get, um, I feel. The cooch has ended up suffering, but not, not, not fatally. Um, so I thought in this final one we'd just have a little look at how the cooch itself has handled it because we know the kaikyu has died we know that the paspalum has died uh, and we'll check in on that little bit of kaki weed it's uh, I think it's turned its heels up as well so let's check it out okay so when you still get up close to this cooch you can see that there's still life in it 
so it's going to pull through. Certainly set it back, uh, but we haven't we haven't killed it. Whereas Mr. Kaikyu has has gone. The Kaki weed still had life in it, but since then, where is it? There it is. There, it's just it's given up. There's its little little bindy things. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna press on them. They hurt. But yep, not gone. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little look at uh, our little glyphosate experiment. Uh, as I said, it was just something that I was sort of wanting to sort of play around with. Uh, this patch here will ultimately be replaced with a different variety uh, of cooch, probably either Tiff Tough or Greenleaf Park. I haven't fully decided yet. So anyway, guys, well, that's all I've got for you today. So stay tuned for more episodes. We'll see you next time here on the Aussie Lawn.